What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, you read that title correctly, and I'm gonna stand my ground on that. And by reading it, you can probably tell that we're gonna be talking about Fortnite today, and yes, I'm a fan. Now, I'll be the first to admit that when Fortnite first came out, I hated it. I absolutely despised it. I was really big into PUBG, and to see this game Fortnite copy the game I play, just adding the stupid building mechanic, I was like, no thank you. Wow. I even did some PUBG videos back in the day. But after a while, you know, Fortnite started gaining something of a title and PUBG on consoles kept staying this unpolished buggy mess. I was at work and I had a friend there tell me that him and his son play Fortnite and how they wanted me to play and after a little bit of them hyping it up, I decided to dip my toes back into the game. Playing Fortnite again, I realized my problem from the beginning with the game all along. I was trying to play Fortnite as if it was PUBG, and I didn't try to play Fortnite as Fortnite. And when I did that, my eyes completely opened up to it. I can't believe I had been shitting on this game this entire time, and I don't know what it is about Fortnite, but it has fully captured my attention and I still play it to this day. From late chapter two all the way to present, Fortnite has kept me coming back. Now, when I started playing Fortnite, you know, late chapter two, there was only three options to pick from. You had Save the World, you had Battle Royale, and you had Creative. Now, this video is mainly gonna be covering the Battle Royale, but I did wanna touch up on Save the World just a little bit. Save the World is actually what Fortnite was originally going to be a cross between survival horror and like a tower defense game. But when PUBG came out and made it from, Fortnite decided to rip off the fuck out of those guys. Hey, it is what it is. Anyways, like I was saying, Save the World is like this crossover between a survival horror game and a tower defense game. You build up your tower, putting all the tools and equipment around it, and you fight off zombies. And that's literally the whole game. There is a story going on in the background, but I'm not really following it, so I don't really know. I don't really play Save the World world a lot. I can see playing this with friends being kind of interesting and a lot of fun maybe perhaps, but like I said in the past, that's only because you're playing with friends. Anything is fun when you're playing with friends. It's not bad, but it's nothing special, you know? Also, just one thing I wanted to point out real quick is I think it's funny how officially stated, Epic thinks that Fortnite is a cross between Left 4 Dead and Minecraft. Wow. <laughs> Another thing about playing Save the World now too is that it's kind of weird because it shares a lot of elements from early Fortnite, so playing it can be kind of trippy. Anyway, moving on to the main event and what a lot of people play and know Fortnite for, the Battle Royale mode. Fortnite Battle Royale is pretty simple. 100 people land on an island and you have to collect guns, posts, and shields, and whatever you need to survive and win to ideally make it the first place. The game starts off with a huge circle, but then the circle gets smaller as players then have to maneuver toward the circle. So, you know, there's no dead games or this massive map where players are on one side and baiting each other and coming over, but no one wants to come over and the game just goes on forever. They made it to the point to where, no, the game has to end. And I do like that, that's kinda cool. So if you played PUBG, the mechanics are pretty much the same in the Battle Royale. However, Fortnite, especially now, added so much shit to it that it can be its own experience in its own way, but just for the gist of mechanics, if you played PUBG, or if you played any Battle Royale, really, when it comes to a storm and a timer, you, you understand how it works. You know, I have a lot of good moments in Fortnite, but surprisingly, I don't really play a lot of solos, because I think Fortnite really shines is when you're playing with friends. I can't deny it. I am tired of the slander and the hate that this game gets. So I shall stand my ground with my nerf Fortnite pistol with silencer attachment and my Fortnite rocket launcher also nerf and I stand by these guns and I will say Fortnite's a pretty fucking fun game and I'm tired of people saying it's not. The way this game feels is amazing. It doesn't feel too floaty. You might think having the cartoony style it would, but no, it still feels very weighted. Speaking of the style, the cartoony style is something I adore. It used to look weird to me at first, but I've really grown to love it. It has a style that pops out and will become timeless for years to come and also has carved out the identity that Fortnite now has. Also being the first game to hit Unreal Engine 5, and god damn they made it look stunning. The shooting feels great in this game as well. Every gun in it has a big hump to it and I just love that as well. 
<laughs> that was cool. I'm glad you saw that, babe. Oh my god! And winning a victory royale, boy, let me tell you, there is no other failing than winning a victory royale. The rush that you get. Find them? Yeah! Nice. Woo! Yeah! One more. Get him, Eddie! One more. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! This is fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking go! Let's go! Oh my god, we fucking won! Are you serious? Because the grind of getting a victory royale is so defeating, getting one. Well, it all just matters, doesn't it? <laughs> so by that means, you will just die, 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 die. But after a while, it just gets exhausting, man. I'm not gonna lie. But if there is another good thing to talk about, is that Fortnite is constantly updating. Never does this game feel old or get dull. They don't give it enough fucking time to get dull. The collabs in this game are literally insane. The item shop holds characters and back bling and emotes you can buy, but every time a crossover hits the game, the item shop is surely to follow with tons of crossover bling. Honestly, I'd probably be a millionaire right now if it weren't for the Fortnite item shop, unfortunately. The characters are just vast and out of here, and at the time, a crossover character like Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty was insane. Like, for example, it's the only game I can say that Rick Sanchez teamed up with Goku, Naruto, and Darth Vader and won a victory royale while hitting the gritty. What a wild sentence I just uttered right there. It's also stuff like that that make Fortnite stick out from the crowd. The base vanilla game of Fortnite was just building and shooting, and quite frankly, I'm still not to this day a fan of the building in Fortnite. I just don't like it, and it stresses me out every time I gotta go into build mode to take on somebody who's just played Fortnite just their entire life, apparently, and knows the game inside and out, and can do that crazy magic house world shit you know that they do i'm not like that and i can't do that so you know i was happy when no build got introduced and i i love that shit and that is the only mode i play on because i believe it's where the real gamers play and sure when you play no build you can surely say that it is just completely ripping PUBG off now with the battle royale mode but we're kind of past the point now where that doesn't really matter there are hundreds of battle royales out there that all copy the same formula that fortnite and PUBG do so it's not really up to bait anymore, you know, and PUBG's kind of going down and Fortnite is still staying up top. There's just something about this game's mechanics that just make Fortnite so fun. And not only is it fun to play by yourself, but with friends. And when you have a group of people around to play Fortnite together, it is some of the best multiplayer experience you will ever have. Some of Fortnite's best qualities come out when you are playing with your friends. Dude, Andy, did you know that Shrek is coming next? No shit. Yeah, dude, the outhouses are here, bro, with the toilet paper. Yeah. Like, it just, it's a dead connection. Yeah, yeah we, we're making... Like, you're, you're saying that's a joke, Storm, but we're gonna get Shrek and Donkey back, like, Come on, Darth Vader, let's get it! Yeah, come <laughs> on, guys, everyone's good! Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, your key! Yeah! <laughs> There's no way we're winning this fucking Ah oh, man. Might as well call it quits, boys. You don't see him? Oh, ninja! Dude, I have not found one like Evo Chrome gun at all. There you go, bud, I got you. Aha! Rimmer will always be giving away Evo. Actually, uh, do you have a shotgun one? No, I do not. God, see you later. I have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean the backseat game. I just really want to let you know where what's going on. Damn storm! Nice. Ah! <laughs> Andy, what's the hollow purple? What's that, man? It's like a, it's almost like a hookerama thing. It's like a big uh, power bucket. Bukarama? What the fuck is that? 
looks like a big energy ball he shoots at him. Oh, the Kamehameha? Is that what shit. you're trying to yeah, say? Oh yeah, my Kamehameha. god. It's kind of like a Kamehameha. I'm sorry. I normally stick the duo or trios, but having your team completely wipe the field, boy, it's another one of those rush moments, you know. Everyone gets really excited. But also on the same side, it can be incredibly frustrating when you do really well in the game, get all the weapons you want, have all the shit you want, and it just gets taken away from you from somebody you didn't even see on the game and that isn't that just well being with this game late chapter two all the way up till now i have experienced some pretty crazy shit within fortnite you know fortnite is just one of those games where you just had to be there the spider-man gloves are so fun and if insomniac's game didn't exist before these then in my opinion these would be the best swinging mechanics we have ever gotten from any spider-man related thing i love the way the gloves feel it's so satisfying to keep the momentum moving and they are great and they add a great dynamic to the game the nimbus cloud a really fun mechanic the nimbus cloud allows you to fly away real quick and using the kamehameha is such a surge of power it is so satisfying to just blast someone with. The scout gear allowing you to zip and zoom all around the map, kind of like the spider glove, but instead of one web, you have two hooks. The lightsabers bring some melee combat to the repetitiveness of guns. You can get some distance on these sabers as well, and not only do you get the sabers, but depending on what saber you get, you get the corresponding force power with it. Every once in a while, an all might crate will come out of the sky, and once you open it, you'll get a Deku smash, which is an absolute unit of an attack. Doesn't that all sound amazing? Doesn't that sound like the best game ever? Don't you just want to hop on right now and play it? Well, you can't. You just had to be there. Fortnite is a good game, and everything I just mentioned here could come back at some time, like the spider gloves did under a different color, or they could swap it out like the grapple gloves, which by the way, I totally fucking called that. The games and Fortnite. This is a personal conversation between me and you. Both of us know you put yourself in quite the dilemma here with this recent season. It's okay, it's okay. I know how we can fix it. So when you made the, the web shooter gloves, see, you kind of brought the best thing to the game, right? And I would hate to see this leave as soon as you decide to move on to the next chapter. You take the gloves, you spray paint them brown, you give them black grappling hooks, and you make them shoot from the top, and then the people will grab them and swing just like the Spidey Gloves, right? That's original. The gloves are original at that point, right? They're not Spidey Gloves, they're Grapple Gloves. And that's what you can call them. But if you don't want to miss any other fun things Fortnite might throw, then you have to hop on now and experience it now for yourself. I missed out on the Thanos of it. I missed out on the Avengers stuff. I wish I could play the Avengers stuff, but I can't anymore. It's not even a mode on Fortnite. They just got rid of it. Every collab item is just gone when they feel like taking it. Like I said, they brought back the Spider-Man gloves for Across the Spider-Verse when that was coming out. It lasted about a week or two and they stripped it right from the game. Fortnite is great. Also sucks, but it's great. I definitely recommend it to you. And I mean, hey, it's free. You don't have to spend the dime on it if you don't want to. So what do you got to lose? Now, Fortnite wants you to buy their cosmetics. It's no secret, they shove every deal in your face, but they also give you tons of free stuff too. Now the battle pass, for example, you can go throughout that entire battle pass, make it to level 200. There's no caps on level, so you can go as far as you want. And Epic has a decent amount of stuff that's in there for free for you. Now, let's say you wanted to buy the battle pass. Theoretically, you only need to buy one battle pass the entire game of Fortnite. And I'm talking forever, it's an infinite loop. All you have to do is buy a battle pass. And within the battle pass, there should be roughly around 1,000 to 1,500 V-Bucks already in there and since a battle pass only cost 950 if you had all 1500 v bucks or a thousand v bucks even at the end of that battle pass and it carried on to the next well you could just buy the next battle pass and just keep the train going after that the battle pass gets so much shit but all honestly people don't know that if you just grind you only need to buy it once and if you don't feel like grinding well then that's kind of on you Sometimes with the free stuff, Fortnite will give out V-Bucks, like you'll get 100 every blue moon. So you could theoretically save up 
by being a free to player and play it that way as well. And I think that's where I'm gonna end it today. Uh, I have a lot of good memories with Fortnite and I plan to create a lot more because like I said, I still play the game to this day. I'm still playing. I just completed this season's battle pass. Uh, I'm waiting for next season, you know, by the time that I'm filming this, you know, it's not there. August 25th is when the next season drops in. I'm excited. I already got the battle pass. I'm working on the bonus rewards right now, but yeah, I hope I can get the bonus rewards at least up until like the fourth page. Get, you know, a majority of it is what I try to do anyway. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you play Fortnite? I bet you do. So if you do, why don't you put it down in the comments and I'll get to you when I get to you. I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, and those will be in the links down below. Please follow me, it would mean a lot to me, and I'm more active on Instagram than I am on Twitter, but please go follow both my socials for updates and just how I'm generally doing. And while you're down there, can I get you to hit that like button? Can we try to get this video up to 10 likes? That'll be much appreciated. And also, while you're down there, can I get you to hit that subscribe button and the bell for post notifications, because I wouldn't want you to miss a single upload of mine, and it takes like 10 seconds, and I would greatly appreciate it. I have a Patreon, yes, and that will also also be in the link down below so if you want to consider donating or supporting the channel it's there for you you don't have to but I would greatly appreciate it